you, folks. Welcome to the holiday surprise.
Thanks. That was one of many for Ron Quasman. Now, if you will cast your gaze to the back corner to Mr. Peter Chick. I'm hiding over here. Pipes you see, pipes you don't. Good evening. Good evening, thank you for responding. Want to take a moment to salute uh, our beloved president, Abraham Lincoln? Our manager as well? He wrote the song when he was developing the laser. Tell him about in the, the White House basement. I was going to ask about it. What did you well, tell that's how the, the North won the Civil War. Lincoln was working late nights in the basement of the White House, uh, developing Lincoln's awesome strategic elimination ray, the laser. Pete, where did you come up with it? Love it. I'm, I'm a you history buff. It. So that's there it was. what it's about. No, like a Muslim invention. Like, well, there it was. It was, it was a, a skit. Not really. A song. This is called Karaoke Free.
you guys. You are awesome. Thanks for coming. Bye. I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm kidding. Good night, everybody. See what would happen. Just fun. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like to introduce you guys to a very special friend of the uh, music tapes and the holiday surprise. Ladies and gentlemen, mechanized organ playing tower.
family comes from uh, Romania, and uh, there's uh, my family goes way back with this uh, this Romanian circus family, uh, and uh, they're kind of a gypsy circus family, and uh, I think their story is really beautiful. Um, and uh, what they were is they, they did this circus act that they passed down from generation to generation. Uh, they passed it down to their kids. And what was really incredibly extraordinary about the act was that it was never duplicated, ever. And, and if you know anything about the histories of circuses, there is almost, there's pretty much never been a successful act of that level that was never duplicated. And, um, but first, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what this, the, the act was. What they did was, first, they were very sickly people. And um, they, they uh, generation after generation. And they were always ill. And um, they wouldn't talk to anybody backstage. They'd be completely silent. They wouldn't speak to any of the performers, other performers at all. And when it was their turn, they'd walk out to the center ring, just looking incredibly frail and sallow, coughing, hacking. <laughs> and, and they'd just stand there. And there'd be this profound silence, this almost uncomfortable silence with everybody waiting to see what's going to happen. And then slowly, slowly, they'd lean back and open their mouths and begin pulling European cities out of their mouths. <laughs> street after street, block after block, re recognizable landmarks, trolley cars, street signs, everything, one after another. They were dehydrated. <laughs> they were dehydrated European cities. And, and the way that they did it was when they'd go out they'd have the little pellets, the little dehydrated pellets hidden in between the fingers. When they'd go to the mouth to cough, they'd drop in a single pellet. Their mouths were full of seawater and saliva that they'd been collecting for two and a half hours previous to the show, which is why they never talked to anybody. <laughs> and, <coughs> and, 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 but the, 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 part that, the part that I think is really beautiful is the way that they kept their secret. Um, the thing was, they never, they never, when passing it down from generation to generation in any situation, they never actually spoke the secret out loud in words, ever. Um, they would teach their children these songs, uh, these wonderful songs, and 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 then when the children got older, they began teaching them a code, and it was a musical code. And 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 uh, and and what ended up happening was, you know, and that the code was how to do it, and 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 what ended up happening though was that in time, as modern culture. Uh, encroached on Romania and circus culture, eventually there, there wasn't anybody left that, un that understood the code. Uh, and all that's left is the songs. And this is one of them. Thank you. 
everybody that's ready, ready? Two Skies, and the, uh, the tuning song is kind of an example of how far it is to the top of the hill. Kind of. <laughs> it's a hard road from here to the top of the hill the evidence i've gained from the pilgrims before you but once you're there
that. Um, now we're going to do a song called Out of the Water. for you, brother. in like 10 minutes. Hello, Chicago. Now we will introduce a poet. This man has spoken poetry at, I mean, probably at least 20 of the shows I've played in Chicago, let alone Austin, Texas, and anywhere else he's been. He's a living legend, and he lives here. His name is Dax. Welcome him. Hello. Hi. Um, uh, hmm. I've got to say, uh, in my personal opinion, the Sunshine Fix's first album is my favorite album of the whole last decade. I was so thrilled to hear a chunk of it tonight. And uh, I have a little poem for you called Elephant Six Number Two. Uh, Elephant Six Number Two. In reverse, like an antelope's tail trophy, you're impressed in the only way you can understand. 
even though you waste your and its time by trying to run out to the front to check out the Godhead it's been enunciating as clearly as possible, you don't have the equipment to experience. Thank you, and please welcome the holiday surprise. Ladies and gentlemen, the snowman throws snowballs at the moon all winter long. All winter long, the snowman throws snowballs at the moon. It toils, throwing shot after shot after shot. But only, only when the snowman strikes the moon can the snowman's body melt and its soul released at last travel the world as what we call spring. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight you, you will have the opportunity to bring spring to Chicago this year. Who among you, who among you, we will take up to five or six contestants, will take the snowman by the arm and guide his hand in its valiant attempts to puncture the moon, thereby, thereby winning the grand prize, not only of spring coming this year to Chicago, but you, the winning contestant, the winning contestant will get the right to choose any song outside of our family of friends in the world, whether we know it or not, whether we've heard of it or not, and we will have to play it. All right, let's see some hands. All right, I saw this hand first, right here. Um, so, what was your name, sir? Daniel, okay, Daniel right here is gonna be our first contestant. Head right over there. Can y'all see Daniel? All right. All right, Daniel is rather small. Mr. Spillane, would you move the moon of touch closer for Daniel? <laughs> and and can actually, can someone lift Daniel up? Is, is it, would that be possible? Could we, okay, wait, 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 Daniel. Don't do it yet, don't do it yet. Hold on, Daniel, hold on. Okay, we gotta wait for your drum roll and your applause. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for Daniel. <laughs> Go for it. Should we give Daniel one more try, folks? Okay. Daniel, one more try, one more try. All right, I, I think we didn't scream loud enough for him. That's what happened. Oh, man. All right, good. big hand for Daniel, everybody. Big hand for Daniel. Woo! All right, all right. Hands up, I'm gonna... What's your name, sir? Eric. Eric. Big hand for Eric, ladies and gentlemen. He's clearly intoxicated, but you never know. You never know. Yeah, it's true. No, actually, in New Orleans, they could still be throwing. They were so trashed. They were awesome, though. Okay. Um, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for Eric. He's always getting his coaches. Coaches, ready? Okay. All right, big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe Eric can melt the snowman, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! All right, let's see some hands go up. Big hand for Eric, though. Is it you? I guess it's you. What's your, what's your name, sir? All right. All right. What's your name, sir? And your name, sir? My name's Mike. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, huge hand for Mike. Yeah. Get over there. <laughs> Mike is clearly not intoxicated. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, and he's going to get his aim. He's going to go. Okay, big roar. <laughs> oh! Excellent job, Mike. Excellent job. Okay, all right, I see that hand right over there. Yep, waving the thing, waving the thing. All right, your name, sir? Quinn, all right. Big hand for Quinn, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Okay, get ready. And drum roll for Quinn. Big roar! Woo! Big hand for Quinn, ladies and gentlemen. Spring comes to Chicago this year, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, 
song, ladies and gentlemen, he's picked Good Vibration by the Beach Boys. And if we can't get this, we're in big trouble. So give us uh, four, four minutes, and, uh, and we'll be right back. We're going to play Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys.
not true, but I think about him every day, my dear friend. Lincoln Hall, Abe Lincoln Hall. He's our manager. Yeah.
was ignored by the deaf and the bold Cause they could for Diana. I can't see you, but I know Rossi. you are too. Who are you? Why are you talking to me? No, good evening. That's what I meant to say. I messed it up. All right, this song's for Chris Knox and the Tall Dwarves. <laughs>
Okay, yeah, there's a record called uh, Stroke. Uh, Chris, Chris had a stroke, uh, and uh, you should all buy that record because it goes towards his uh, recovery and everything. snuck out I wasn't supposed to go out alone and uh, but I went out anyway and I knew I was in really big trouble and I went on this really long adventure this really long walk and then I saw him off in the distance and he didn't see me and I snuck up on him and he was smoking a cigar and he blew a smoke a smoke ring in the perfect shape of a polar bear <laughs> and, and there's even a polar bear shaped shadow on the ground yeah. it's a true story Amazing. <laughs> You guys don't have YouTube in Chicago, do you? <laughs> Thank God. Okay. i 
Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to switch instruments. Do you like that? Yeah, do you switch instruments? You know what I'm talking about? This is the note for you. Something has been on my mind. I need to talk. Tell me about it, Pete. Well, I've been thinking a lot about Lincoln. I've noticed. I, I generally do. If I see a penny, I pick it up, and all the day I have good luck. But it's more than that. Lincoln was a nice fellow. Handsome, too. To his wife, maybe, but she was nuts, right? Mary Todd? Was she crazy? Okay. Anyway, she was a lovely woman. I owe a debt to Abe Lincoln. I like Abe Lincoln. I like him. I like him in powdered form. And I also like him as his Canadian self. Is he this the introduction Canadian. to the song? In a way, powdered Abe Lincoln. Yeah. Uh, you know, check it out. He's this song was added to the set list by request. I will continue talking because I don't think I know how to play this song. You have to. All right, we have to. Let me put the microphone in exactly the right place. Talk you are not Lincoln. alone. Abraham Lincoln. Okay, when you listen to this song, think about the melting snowman, the styrofoam ball, the moon, and Abraham Lincoln. And now we go, right?
at the end, I was trying to replicate the different voices. Go, well, well, you know, I don't know if it was, wasn't really possible. So, I try, try. I did my best for you. <laughs>
Hey Dan, check your phone. Good evening. Welcome to Elephant Six Holiday Surprise 2011. Spring edition. Abraham Lincoln. 
Hey, that guy just called out White Sky. Why don't you play that one, Scott? Serve it up, Pete.
Thanks for coming to our party, everybody. You guys rule. Yeah. It's so much fun for us, you know. It's like we should have party hats for you guys or something. Lincoln, Lincoln, I've been thinking, what the hell have you been drinking? <laughs> On your back, I tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. You playing the drumming on it? It's great to be here. Thank you guys very much for having us.
fun to be here. Thanks to the Kinks. Good vibrations, right? <laughs> kind of. Thanks. I was like, that's got more than three chords. Wow. That's too much for me. I mean, it, to do live, excuse me. Are you, anyway, shut up. <laughs> shut up. I'm, I'm not here for try to do comedy. <laughs> do some comedy. We'll stand up. We'll stand up for you. I'm not here to do that. You're a stand up guy. You want to stand up? Yeah. Dude, I'll jump up. Well, you're a jump up I'll guy. I'll go. You know, you're a real jump up guy. <laughs> Thanks. You're on the curb. I don't He invented the laser. He invented the laser. He's our tour manager. Holy crap, he's calling me now. What does it stand for again? What, is, what does he have to say? What? Sorry, Ben. He did invent the laser. I'm sorry. That's all he oh, to say. he just confirmed that? Yeah. Abraham Lincoln, the laser. <laughs> Strategic something.
Thank you guys. Thanks. We've had a wonderful night. Thank you very much. Yeah, good night everybody. Thanks so much. I love the Big Apple. It is really great to be back in the Twin Cities. Does every band do this? Oh, the city fun. of brotherly love. Don't go out. They remain that's on it, right? The Big Easy, that's right. Huh? The Easy Chair, but... The Red the Stick. The City of Angel. <laughs> the Classic City. Well, that's our town, man. No one knows about that. You know Athens is a classic city. Athens, Georgia is a classic city. Classic city. This city's pretty classic. Is it a mockery? It's no, it really feels like home. Cool. That's all I'm saying. No, it's classical.
Good evening. Right, we got one vote for Blue, Scotty. Happy holidays. Did someone say asshole? What did you mean? What did you mean? Ice hole. I have dreams. What are mine? Ice horse? Trying to fix this. No, we'll move on. skits and stuff. It's like, oh, this is supposed to be happening. We're doing a skit. It's like, here we are. You know. Yeah, this is so out of tune. I think other people know this. You know. And we're doing a skit. <laughs> Yeah. 
Good evening. Gracias. Hello. You gotta decide what to play next. One second. Good evening. Uh, it's been okay. No, no, no. We've already answered. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, play Mr. Whatever Peter. So I said, whatever you want. That's cool. Thanks. I can see if you fun. don't. All right, well, let's do that ACDC song. We were over there a request. No, we already played the song we don't know. Count, count basses. I think we decided we're going to. ACDC. Oh, yeah. Hell's Bells. Do you guys mind if we bring it down a little no, bit? We have yet to feel like if it's quiet for a little moment. Nobody likes heavy metal. That's a very good song. Also a very good song. We're gonna, also we're gonna a good play song. A song by P. Pipes, you see? Pipes, you know. Let's just do it. Um, we're gonna be quiet for a little moment. Just close your eyes. Imagine a landscape near you. Probably a warehouse district. Envision yourself there. I was reluctant to play this song because it's bringing it down a little bit of a notch. But people are all about notches. <laughs> all right, I got you now. You're screwed. This song is called Days Remain, and it's quieter than the other ones, but I think you people are really good listeners. And it kind of makes me feel special. Thank you, thank you. This song is called Days Remain. My friends are going to sing and do stuff.
But something is not the same And it smells like something that I know It is something that I know Thank you you guys didn't burn your fingers. And still, everybody is concentrating on Abraham Lincoln. We're thinking about Lincoln. Everybody, focus. What are, what are, what are the initials? Or what's lasers? Mean? Abraham Lincoln's initials are A L. <laughs> zing, zing. That was a good. One. Could you hold up your lighter so we can take an iPhone photo? I didn't get a picture of everybody's lighters. Could you hold them up and we'll really just pretend cool. that it was when you were doing it? I don't, I, I don't, I don't, know, Pete, I don't know if Pete knows. I got a picture. They, they He's really busy playing it. a song. I think they burned the lighters out. Oh, there's the one guy with the cell phone. I thought that was what people did now. There's the one guy shooting lighters. the finger at us. They're old school. That's, that's the way you do it these days. I see you. Lincoln invented the laser, also you the lighters. You guys do that for the rest of the night? You'd probably burn your fingers, wouldn't you? Yes. Lincoln's awesome strategic, strategic elimination, elimination ray. ray. That's how they won the Civil War. Laser. He told me. Right. That's fascinating. Part of history, folks. You gotta send that to me. You gotta send that to me. Wake up, yeah. All right. He likes history. Okay. It's my request. My request.
See this, Scott? You caused a beautiful woman to come throw this bra on stage at your feet. How about a picture of that so your wife can see it tomorrow on the internet? Best audience ever. You have made the tour. We'll let you know. Nice job. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Can we do that instead, you guys? Hey guys, let's, let's, let's do candy. Oh yeah. I'd love to. We enjoy playing each other. It's really fun. I love it. Chi-Town thing, I think. 
They just don't want to say Chicago. He's like, Chuck. Oh, no. I guess, right? I mean, do you maybe guys I'm wrong. still like the Cubs? Or do you prefer the White Sox? I guess it's the White Sox. Sorry, city. Cubs. We mimicked the Cubs card from 77 for our band photo. You guys want us to do lots more songs? Yeah. Okay, that affects our decision. Hold on. It's been like, yeah. Some, of the, some nights has been kind of, you know, really Do y'all have any requests? Opera House. No. Okay. Can do. Opera House. It is. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll go. We'll go to Okay. Okay. Whatever. What key is it in? You can't really ask, I guess. We can't really do an Anna Grizzle song. Because Theo's not here for very good reasons. Family, family first reasons. I learned but, the bassoon uh, part. I mean, War pigs? God, I'd love that. We would love to. Bassoon in the masses. Anyway, we won't be doing that. We won't be doing that, actually. Let's be clear. Requested candy for everyone. Candy. Hey, Dan. And this charming young couple down here has also requested it. You guys. Well, actually, no, it's, 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 we're rocking with everybody. You guys, everybody, rocking. Thanks a lot. This is fun. Really yeah, this is really amazing. I know we've said it once, but I haven't said it, so I want to say it. Thank you. And thank you, Abraham Lincoln, for giving us this opportunity to play these songs. The song gets complicated. We have Mr. Daniel Stephen Korn on the drums. He also does our sound. And he's just uh, a beautiful person. So you'll see uh, his amazing talents. In a second, <laughs> we keep we keep them caged. Find the board. Make sure you guys can hear us out there. All right, this one's for uh, uh, Sylvester Stone.
Restroom one two and vaginally? I'm just confusing. That's what I hear. Just talking. Lead. Lead. Done. Lead. Done. Lead. Scott. Lead. Who can do that? Yes, no. Let's go. Lead. It was requested. What night is it? Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday? We used a lot of gas to get here, so we're going to um, use all the time, the most that we can get. We don't want to not play music. That's fine. can do a house party. We're doing lead. said lead. I don't know what minister of longitude, but Julian might. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think I can play that alone. Me and Robbie might know. Uh, just do lead. <laughs> Yeah. 
Braddock didn't make it. Uh, this is this is gonna be our goodbye. Um, oh. well, we've had a wonderful time with you guys. Thanks a lot, everybody. Oh. Uh, and it's a, it's a fun goodbye. Um, this is a song by Sun Ra. Uh, Sunny Blount. To sing along. Rabi Kuchiaro Rabi Kuchiaro Rabi 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 Rabi